Hello, Dearborn Heights residents. It's uh, Friday with the weekly update. This has been a rough week uh, with the snow and the storm that we received. And uh, so the snow emergency has been lifted. Uh, you can park your car in the street. Um, we have here with us, I'm at DPW Yard. We're uh, talking to uh, Mr. Uh, Robert Conrad. He's a DPD, uh, DPW director. So uh, uh, I know we have some questions, a lot of residents. So I wanted to get an update for, from Mr. Conrad uh, about the snow, about you know, how many crews were out there, you know, how many trucks were out there, you know, that, those sort of things to so give, give the residents an update. And also, you know, how you operate, uh, you know, how do you determine, you know, how much snow uh, you guys go out there, plow with the salt and those sort of things. Great, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. A um, little bit about, our, about your local road system. So, uh, City of Dermorton Heights has uh, 185 miles of uh, what we call local and major roads um, that we take care of. Uh, basically, they're into two categories. There are major roads, which includes uh, our, our emergency routes. Um, those are the roads that we address when it starts snowing. So uh, as soon as it starts snowing, you know, your beach dailies uh, would be, you know, one, one of ours. And then uh, more of our major, our emergency routes is something like a Haas. Um, in those roads, we attend to, you know, pretty much at the beginning of the storm. And then we have all of our local roads, which are those non-emergency roads. And those roads will come into pretty much once the snow stops. And we'll be plowing those usually when we get four to six inches of snow. And, you know, traveling those roads becomes difficult. So we'll, uh, we, we have basically four tandem axle trucks that, you know, we use for plowing and salting. We have four single axle trucks that we use for plowing and salting. And then we also have an additional 11 vehicles from water and highway that, you know, aren't capable of plowing and salting at the same time, but um, they are capable of plowing, so we'll implement those. So when we get into that plowing perspective, that's when, you know, we'll start pulling some, you know, uh, people from other departments, you know, our meter readers, we'll put them in trucks and, and have them assist us. If we have additional staff from uh, the water department that aren't attending to water main breaks this time of year, which is also a problem for us, we'll be able to use those for, plow for plowing as well. So uh, I need to thank the crews this time. They, they did a remarkable job. We've uh, been out here two nights in a row, uh, starting at 3 a.m. Um, plowing and Thank you for everybody who moved your car off the street. That made it easier for us to, to do our job. Um, it's very difficult for those drivers when they're, you know, zigzagging around cars uh, that are left on the street. And um, th that is why we did declare the snow emergency to get those cars removed from the street. Um, that is one of the unfortunate things. I mean, we do have to have some place to put the snow when we push it. Um, so, unfortunately, that ends up on the grass between, you know, the curb and the sidewalk, which also is going to include your drive approach. Um, so, you know, we, we try to make that a minimal, you know, that they go at a speed that is, you know, appropriate to spread that out as thin as possible, but not throwing it all the way up to your front porch, you know. We, so we try to keep it in that area of your drive approach, you know, between the sidewalk and the curb. Um, obviously, you know, the, the type of snow, when it's a wet, heavy snow, it may go farther than when it's a light snow. Um, you know, each storm is different, and, and how we handle those is different. Um, we also try, I guess, another note when it comes to the plowing and getting into the local roads. Uh, the, the, the staff here try to encourage the drivers, you know, when we team them up in, in, in groups of two to start pushing the locals. We ask them to pick a different spot every snowstorm when we push to um, make sure that, you know, everybody gets to be first sometime. So, you know, somebody always is going to be first one to get their street plowed, and someone's always going to be last to get their street plowed. And I think the staff, I like what they've done here, where they try to encourage the, the, the plow operators to, 
rotate that area so that you know somebody new is getting theirs done first every storm so um, hopefully I don't know if you notice that when they're out there doing it um, but uh, that is something we encourage them to do is to to spread that possibility of you being the first one to get your street plowed thank you mr. Conrad I want to thank you and thank your crew uh, you guys did an amazing job um, I've gotten a lot of uh, hundreds of messages uh, either the office, Facebook, uh, also uh, I had a lot of texts from people who were really happy that you guys took care of uh, business uh, real quick uh, This uh, uh, with, with this actually uh, storm. So I want to thank you, commend you and your uh, your crew. You guys did an amazing, amazing job uh, last year, and you guys are doing an amazing job this year. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate you guys. And uh, also I want to... Uh, you know, thank the residents for removing their vehicles, the ones that did remove their vehicles uh, from the street. You know, we did declare uh, an emergency uh, did, uh, twice just to make sure that the residents, uh, we had the sirens go off twice We did when we declared the emergency. So people can uh, hear it twice, one at 10, and we had one at 5, 5 p.m. And, you know, again, you know, we, uh, we get a lot of residents calling. We get bombarded with phone calls. Residents can, you know, asking us, there's residents that are not removing their cars, and they want their street plowed. So with that, you know, the police comes in, and they have to, uh, uh, you know, ticket these vehicles are still in the street. So uh, uh, please, uh, next time uh, when, when we declare an emergency, it's no emergency, and also uh, we're going to post it on our website, our Facebook, and also go, goes on Instagram. And I also post it on my personal as well, just to make sure we let all the residents know to get their cars off the street, you know, so we can uh, take care of the uh, all the roads, you know, take care of all the residents. Uh, so uh, thank you again, and uh, uh, thanks for everything you guys do, and thanks for, again to DPW. And uh, again, stay tuned. You know, uh, please monitor our website, our Facebook, and you know all social media uh, for messages. If there's anything, we gotta make sure that all the residents are updated. Thank you, and uh, have a great weekend.